time for another edition of Science Sunday. Of course, joined by Aoife Ryle of the Connecticut Science Center. Hello, hello. And this is going to be a very magnetizing segment today. Yes, yeah, yeah absolutely. Um, we're actually going to make a magnet that you can turn on and off. All right, so an electromagnet. Yes, yeah, right. an electromagnet. Um, they're, they're everywhere. They're in doors. A lot of times they're door locks. They're fire doors. Um, they're in cars. A lot of things. So it's kind of important to understand how they work. And we have several examples. Yes. All right. So I have an electromagnet here. Um, and we can hold up a weight with it. So it's a pretty strong magnet, but I have batteries over here. And as soon as I pull one of these batteries out, there goes the weight. There goes the weight. So there's something here about the electricity that's turning our magnet on and off. So all we're right. going to figure out all the parts and pieces of this. Sounds good. Um, so one way we can tell if something is a magnet is using a compass. All right. Because they detect the magnetic field of our Earth. They're good at detecting magnets. So if I take a regular bar magnet and I wave it over a compass, you can see that needle goes crazy. Mm -hmm. So that's how we can tell if something's a magnet. Right. Okay? So um, a guy named Orsted a long time ago actually figured this out. But he found copper wire. It's, while it's not a magnet on its own, so see it's not making that compass needle move. Mm -hmm. If he took it and he coiled it up mm -hmm. and he put some electricity through it. All right. So we're going to use Amazon batteries. He didn't have those, but um, <laughs> it still works. Put some electricity through it. Now All wave right. that over the compass for me. All right. And you'll see that we have now made a magnet. Perfect. By just putting some electricity through that copper. All right. If we disconnect it and we turn off, or uh, we take the electricity out of that, it's now off. All right. We now have a magnet. We don't have a magnet. So again, if I so if I wave it now without the, yeah, it's not going to do it. It's not going to do yeah. it exactly. All right. So if we have our uh, current going through it and we put a magnetic metal such as iron in the core of our electromagnet, we make it even stronger, which is kind of cool. So you can pick up a bunch of paper clips with that, uh -huh. like a magnet. Isn't that cool? Fancy way of picking up paper clips. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Good stuff. Um, and so these are great, again, because we can turn them on and off. Right. That's what makes them so useful in locks or if we need to pick up a bunch of scrap metal in a junkyard is a good example because you got to drop it off too. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Um, so one last electromagnet I want to show you as our little tug of war. <laughs> so, Seems like this could be maybe dangerous. Yeah, potentially. Yeah, huh. We're going to find out. So I have to complete my circuit here. We've got to allow the electricity to flow around. Uh, this has some copper in there as well. Pretty strong magnet. All right. Are you ready? So, so this is really strong. It's really strong. That's pretty good. All right, ready? I'm going to unhook it. <laughs> and that magnet just cuts off. All right. Isn't that cool? So that just severs. Yeah. 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 So uh, I, if you have doors in a lot of schools or businesses that you have to swipe, mm -hmm. when you swipe the badge, you actually uh, turn off a circuit and you Break, allow it to allow that magnet to turn off, and that's Excellent. what allows you to open the door. All right, very good. So we've just made and shown multiple examples of of electromagnets. magnets. Very yeah, cool. awesome. Um, so you guys are always doing life science at the Connecticut mm -hmm. Science Center, and it's a great place to visit. And if you are a Hartford resident, there's a special deal for you. Yes, you can come and visit for free in August. So if you go to any branch of the Hartford Public Library and show proof of residency, you can get a day pass for free, completely free to come visit the Science Center. All right, that's pretty awesome. Yeah stuff. All right, so go to your local branch, get that pass. Yes. All right, Eva, thank you so much, and of course, we'll see you for another edition of Science Sunday next weekend.